Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's tutorial, we're going to learn how to use the getChildren function in Roblox. Here I just have some steps going up to a red platform and then th there are more steps going down on the other side. If you look in my workspace, I have built a left staircase, which, which are these steps over here going up. And I have built a right staircase, which are the steps going down on the right side. And then I have a platform, a red platform going across. And now we're going to use scripts to paint our left staircase with a different color. So let's go to our service script service. And we're going to add a script. First, I want to declare my left staircase. I want to declare a variable to reference to my left staircase. So I'm going to say local left staircase equals to game dot workspace dot left staircase. So this variable now is referencing to my model, my left staircase model. Next thing I want to do is I want to get all these parts inside my model. To get all the parts inside the model, you're going to use the get children function. So let's go to the next line and we're going to declare a new variable local. Let's call it steps and we'll set it equals to left staircase colon get children. And this is going to return all the children of our left staircase model and it's going to be loaded into this variable steps where steps is now going to be an array where each element of steps is going to contain a part of the uh, left staircase so the first element of step probably going to contain this part the next element is going to be this part and it's probably not going to be in that order but steps Steps is going to have five different elements and each element is going to contain one of these parts. So now that we have an array that contains all the different parts of our left staircase model, we're just going to use the for in i pairs loop to, uh, to loop through them and we're going to paint the steps with a different color. So let's say for and we don't need the index of the array, so we're just going to use the underscore, comma, and step. So this is going to represent each of my step. It's going to represent each of these parts in i pairs. My table name is steps. And I'm going to say do. For in i pairs, it's going to iterate through my steps array, and for each element, it's going to return an index which I don't need. So I'm not declaring the index, but I'm declaring the value that, that is returning in each of those elements, which is going to be the part. So now I'm just going to use step, which is each of those parts. I'm going to change the brick color. So I'm going to say step dot brick color. And I'll set it equal to a new brick color. Brick color dot, let's say blue. I'm going to add a weight here so that the color is not going to change immediately. And maybe to make it more interesting, I'm going to add another weight here so that we're going to see each individual step color changes one by one. Let's play and take a look. Oh, there it goes, one by one, they change color. But you see they're not in any order because when we use get children, the steps are not in any order. So it could be anywhere, it's, it's random. That's how you use get children in Roblox. If you would like to learn more about arrays and dictionary, I recommend coming to our PriceCP Roblox YouTube channel and search for Array. 
You can start with this first video here, lesson number 63, all about arrays. And if you like, we have a bunch of other videos on arrays and dictionaries that you can look at. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next tutorial.